What's up, everybody? Welcome back. John Levesque here. I'm taking us back today to do some more Power Automate. I have an old popular video on forms attachments that I did with my friend Yash, and we have gotten a lot of requests on this video. A couple of them being, one, this process has changed. We want to see the new way of doing this. And two, how do we deal with a form that doesn't have an attachment? Let's say most of the time we want attachments, we deal with attachments, but sometimes there isn't one. How do we deal with that? And so I brought back my friend Yash to join us today. He's happily agreed to kind of show us this new process and how we do forms attachments in 2021 with Power Automate. And also, how do we deal with that null value? If there's no attachment, what happens? But before we jump in there, what's up Yash? How you doing, buddy? I'm good, John. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. The summer has finally arrived in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to be 105 here, which I shouldn't complain. I'm pretty sure for you guys, like that's a normal summer day. Uh, for us, that's that's crazy. People are going to lose their minds. But other than that, I'm doing awesome. Yeah, stay indoors, stay cool. Yes, I, I went and bought myself an air conditioner, so I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna huddle right here at my desk and try and and stay away from that hot sun. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Well, man, it's good to see you. It's good to have you back. I'm excited to talk a little bit about Power Automate today. And and uh, I've been doing a lot of DocuSign content recently, obviously. And uh, I'm yeah. stoked to, to kind of show an updated process here. So what do you think? Are you, uh, you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to hand the screen over to you. Go ahead and just tell everybody a little bit about yourself real quick. I'll have links for you down in the description, but I want to make sure that people know who the heck you are, okay? Yes, sure. Okay, so I'm just pulling up a presentation. Um, basically, what we'll do is we'll just talk about uh, forms and attachments with Power Automate. We'll revisit a few of the items of how we were creating a basic form and some of the uh, rules that it follows when we are dealing with attachments and how we can get that in Power Automate. But before we do that, a quick introduction about myself. So I'm Yash Agarwal and I'm a Power Platform uh, Solution Architect based in India. You can connect with me on LinkedIn by scanning this QR code on the screen and follow me on Twitter and my blog again from the links on the screen. I'm also a Microsoft MVP and MCT for business applications and a super user on the Flow and Power Apps community forum. So please feel free to reach out over there also if you have any questions on these items. And Shout then, out for Yash. He's, yes. he's, uh, he's doing some freelance work right now. So if you need somebody to help you in the Power Platform, go ahead and reach out to Yash. He would love to hear from you. Okay, yes. And then, um, so again, as I was selling about, so we'll just start with forms and attachments and then we'll see how we can get it in Power Automate. And then we'll just send it over in an email, like on, uh, like just have multiple attachments and send over in an email. So let's start cool. with that. Let's do um, it. Okay. So here we are on the forms.microsoft.com and let's just start creating a simple form here. And let's name it as, um, employee onboarding so the story behind this is let's take for an example that an employee joins an organization and then the hr or um, the onboarding committee sends them over this form to just get some basic details and also provides them with the uh, ability to attach a few attachments like ids or something of that sort so okay. we'll just first add a new question here let's put it as text and since we'll be getting it, uh, I mean, this form is going to be usable only within the organization because we have attachments here. We get the name and email address, everything uh, extracted from the response itself. So I'm just going to add here as department. So the person saves, can... us, saves us a little bit of time not having to ask for that information. Yeah. And um, after department, let's add another field which says um date of joining and then let's just go and add our attachment field here so i'll just say file upload and say okay for this um let's name it as attachments now i can provide a limit over here so i'll just say three so that a person can uh, put about three files here. And uh, I mean, if you've been using forms, you'll also see that you can define file types over here of what kind of files this person can upload. But we're not going to get into that. We'll just say everything and get rid of this. 
Okay, so we have our attachments question here, but you'll see that it has marked it as a required one by default. So I'll just make this as not required because we'll also see what happens when there's no attachments. Awesome. Okay, now that we have our form ready, let's quickly go and start building our flow. I'll just get rid of this. And let's give it a refresh. And while that's refreshing, we'll see that um, when we just start adding uh, or creating the flow, we can create an automated flow that gets triggered uh, upon form submit. So I'll start a new flow here and select the automated version. And you'll see the first one is when a new response is submitted. Let's name this as employee onboarding and create. Now I can pick up my form here, which is the employee onboarding. And then as you know that we have to add a step to get response details. I wonder how long it's going to take them to like build this in so that whenever you just put that trigger, that action just comes right next. Yes. I mean, on the last submitted thing. So we just have to pass this on here as the response ID. Okay. okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a compose action here. So this is just to get our schema right. I'm going to add attachments in here and save this for now. And we'll test this. So I'll just do manually and test. And from our form here, we'll do a preview. I'll say department as IT and date of joining. Let's select today's date. And in the upload file, I'll go to the desktop and just add C1 and C2 here. And then submit. So once submitted, uh, I'll see that of flow is run. And here in the compose action, we have all the details of the attachment field. Now all we have to do is copy over this entire thing, edit the flow again, and in the new step, you add a pass JSON here. So in the pass JSON, we'll say the content is again the attachments question. In the schema, we generate from sample and paste uh, whatever we copied over there from the compose action and done. So this basically creates a uh, you know this thing for us, and you can get rid of all the required fields from here, just in case there are some fields that get don't don't get populated, and save again. And before we move further, we need a variable over here so that we collect all the attachments because there is a chance that there may be multiple attachments, and I'll name it as attachments here. And of type array. So note that if you're also using a single attachment for a form, this approach would still be valid and it will collect only one attachment in the array. Now, after my pass JSON, what I can do is I'll add another step here, which is going to be a get file content. So every attachment, when you're creating a personal form, it gets created all right. So not this one. We'll be using get file content using path. And uh, as I was saying, when we are creating a personal form, it goes and creates these attachments in OneDrive for business. But when you're creating it using, uh, I mean, if you're creating a group form, then it uh, saves these attachments in SharePoint. Mm, good to know. But the process is again going to be the same. So you just use the other action instead of this. Now you'll cool. see that uh, I'll start navigating here. So it is going to take me to this. Um, apps, and then Microsoft Forms, employee onboarding, and I'll just select the question and the first attachment here. Now, let's copy over this entire thing, create a notepad quickly, paste it, get rid of this part, copy everything else, and then remove everything from here and paste that. After question, we're going to put the name. Now you'll see that it automatically added me into an apply to each because uh, the attachments are returned as an array. From there, they could be one, they could be more, they could be zero. 
Yep. And once we have this, we'll start and construct an array. So let's search for append for array variable. And here, we're going to select attachments and just follow this JSON. So the first one is going to be name. And we can pass the name directly from here. After that, put a comma and in quotes, content bytes which is going to be the file content from here. That's it. So this is going to create our array of files. Now that we have this, what I'm going to do is, um, we also want to see if there was no attachment att uh, added over here. So before our parse JSON, we add another action here, which says condition. In the condition, we choose that um, first, let's just put the attachments here. Place your cursor, control A, control C. In the expression, we'll select empty and paste. We're just going to check if that is returned as empty is equal to false. Okay, from the expression. If it is equal to false, only then you do these items like apply to each over here. So well, the editor is behaving a little weird. So I just select a compose action here again, close this, put my apply to each here and get rid of this. All these little tricks. There's tricks to this editor to be able to get it to do what you want. Yes. <laughs> and then um, we'll search for an email action here. So let's say send an email. And for two, I'm going to just put my email address over here. In the subject, um, let's mention on bold and form submitted by, and then from here, we're just going to get responder. Okay, let's just as new on bold and form submitted. And we mention in the text, And this can really be whatever you want. Yash is making it nice and simple here. You can make this very verbose. Yes. You can use the rich text editor to make it look pretty. Yes. And also, um, I'm just I'm just passing the responders email as is here. We can use the Office Connector to get their details also. If you wanted to send it to their manager, we can do that also. Yeah. And attached with, these, uh, with this email. The files submitted by the user, or let's say the responder. And then we show advanced options. Here we have this attachments uh, input control. So let's shift this so that it accepts an array and we pass the array altogether. Now, what nice. we do is um let's just say normal i'm going to copy over this that's important don't don't go blow past that too quick your your importance on your email step always set to normal otherwise it could go to spam or out of your focused inbox it you definitely want to make sure your priority is set to normal rather than low the email will have a much higher chance of reaching your recipient yes so it's not allowing me to copy so let's just quickly add another email action here And we'll copy over the same content, but this time in the body, we'll just say that no attachments have been added. Also, what we can do is, uh, Just put the responder details and say department, and we select whatever input was provided. And date of joining, and we just put the date here. 
It's always good to add as much context as you can to the email yes. body. And we can directly copy this over to here also. Now that we have both our email actions ready, we just have to expand this condition part. And then after the apply to each, we need this. Okay, so again, it's like this. Okay. The first rows here. And the second goes here. And we get rid of this one. Nice. Also, we don't need this compose any longer. So we get rid of this also. And now our flow is ready. So let's again um, submit. I'll just test and manually. And this time, let's not attach anything. Submit another response. I'll say HR and date of joining. I'll put today's date and submit it as is. Now that it has been submitted, we'll come back to our flow. We'll see that it has run successfully. Also, here, since there was no attachment, it went straight away here, and we have these details. So, nice. And then nice. now we also have to test with multiple attachments. So let's come back here. Submit Is another it just response. me, mm -hmm. or did this process get easier from the first time we did it? I mean, it has been just like this. So we're uh, just doing it a little easier this time. OK, OK. And um, I'll just select the date and this time upload the attachments. So C1 and C2 again. And submit. We'll go back to our flow. It should have triggered by itself this time and succeeded also. It was a fast one. Good news. And here in the email, we see that. Uh, the response details and then if i wanted to open the attachment i can open and it shows up whatever was there dude beautiful as well. cool that was it on this one awesome all right man that is freaking beautiful i feel like i i think this this video seems so much more succinct either the process got easier or now you've just done it a hundred times and you got it mastered that was like a a master class man thank you yeah, I mean, uh, so this part, I mean, I used to do it very uh, complicatedly earlier. I mean, it was very complex that we used to do it that um, when there's no attachments, then there's a different way to find that out. But this has gotten a little you know, better as, as we say, it has improved over time for me also. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. Well, awesome. Yash, thanks so much, man, for coming and hanging out and showing this to us. I really appreciate it. Every time you come and hang out, it's always a good lesson for me too. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, John. Yeah. And you guys out there, go ahead and check the description. Get connected with Yash, his LinkedIn, his Twitter, his blog. It's all there. But more importantly, reach out to him. If you need flows built for your organization, if you want Power Platform technology implemented, he's an awesome partner. As you can see, he makes it very simple, very teachable, and he's going to build you awesome stuff. So Yash, man, thanks again. And to you guys, make sure to get connected with him, okay? All right. So that's it from us for today. We have answered all the questions we had. We showed you the new process of how to do forms attachments. We showed you how to deal with a null value if there is no attachments included. And we showed you how to do it in a much faster fashion. So thanks to Yash and thanks to all of you for coming and hanging out. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Much love from me. I'll see you in the next one.